In this tutorial, we'll create a simple Oracle PL slash SQL package to insert employee records into the employees table and use it in an Oracle Apex application. We'll walk through the code step by step to show how to use packages effectively in Apex. Step 1, create the employees table. First, we'll create the employees table, which will store our employee data. Here's the SQL code. Explanation. EMP underscore ID, this is the primary key for the table and is generated automatically using the identity clause. EMP underscore name, stores the name of the employee. Salary, stores the employee's salary. Department, stores the department in which the employee works. This table will hold basic information about each employee, including their ID, name, salary, and department. Step 2. Create the employee underscore PKG package specification. Next, we create a package specification, employee underscore PKG, which defines a function ADD underscore employee to add a new employee to the employees table. Step 3. Create the employee underscore PKG package body. Now, we create the package body, which contains the implementation of the ADD underscore employee function. Explanation. The underscore new underscore EMP underscore ID, a local variable to store the newly generated EMP underscore ID. Insert into employees, this statement inserts a new employee into the employees table. The returning clause captures the generated EMP underscore ID into the V underscore new underscore EMP underscore ID variable. Return V underscore new underscore EMP underscore ID, this line returns the new EMP underscore ID back to the caller. Step 4, using the package in an Apex application process. I will create a region where I will include the fields from the employee table. You have named the region employee. And set the type to forms. After selecting the employees table, all the items, fields, from the table have automatically appeared in the form. Next, I will create a button named create and set its position. Now, a process needs to be created. Next, we'll now create an Apex process to call the ADD underscore employee function when a form is submitted. Explanation. First is declare. Declares a variable to hold the new employee ID returned by the function. Next is employee underscore pkg dot add underscore employee. It's calls the add underscore employee function with values from Apex form items p3 underscore emp underscore name, p3 underscore salary, p3 underscore department. An Apex underscore util dot set underscore session underscore state is sets a session state value for the p3 underscore success underscore message item displaying a custom success message. Last one apex underscore application dot g underscore print underscore success underscore message is sets the standard apex success message with the new employee ID. Now click on the OK. And we will link the button to the process. Now, I will create a report on the employee table. so that I can view the data after creating it. And save. Now, I will input data and click on create dot. An error is occurring because I forgot to create the p3 underscore success underscore message item. It was my mistake. So I will create it and try again. Now, I am entering some data again.
and clicking the Create button. We can see that the data has been created. I will create another row. Yes, this one is also created successfully. So, today we learned how to use a package to insert data.